Hi, it's Craig and Laura here. Mr. and Mrs. DIY. And today we're at home doing a garden makeover using French Eek chalk paint. You'd be surprised at what a lick of paint can do to the look and feel of your garden. And we've got plenty to do in our garden. So let's get cracking. Now this old fence panel is probably about five or six years of age. It's been painted a couple of times, but it's exposed to the elements all the time. The rain, the sun has completely bleached the color out of it. So we're gonna paint it up with blackjack chalk paint from the Alfresco range. Of course, I could use a paintbrush, but it's quite a vast area here. It would take some time. So I'm gonna use a small handheld paint spray. For those of you who've never used a paint spray before, don't be put off by them. They're really quick and simple to use, allowing anyone to get a professional result in a fraction of the time. They work with the whole range of French heat paints. Now that's one solid coat, but remember, it's rough sawn timber, so it's very porous. It's advisable to apply two coats to make it weatherproof. Not only will it look great, it'll last longer. Now while Craig's over there playing with his sprayer, I'm going to be starting on the smaller and more detailed items, which I think are a little bit more fun. I'm going to start with the bird box. Now I've just given it a quick wash down with the sugar soap, so the paint keys to it better. I'm going to be using a paintbrush in two different colours, Kiss Me Slowly and Green Green. Now that I've finished the main body of the bird box, I'm going to be painting the roof and the base in this gorgeous jewel-like colour, Kiss Me Slowly. I'm not sure what sort of colours the birds in our garden like. However, French Eek have such a great variety of colour to please everyone's taste. Now, I've had this big old wooden summer house in the garden for about 10 years now. And over the years, it's had a variety of different types of paint on it. So what Laura and I did was we heavily sanded it down first. Then we moved over to a lighter sandpaper and sanded it down so it's ready to paint. Over the years, the timber started to expand and detract and it's got little cracks in it there. So we put some filler in there the day before to let it dry. Now, because of the vast area of this, we're going to spray it up to make it a little bit quicker. So in precautions for that, I've masked up the windows. It's really Really easy to do, quick and easy. It's a polyphene masking and then you mask around the edges. All I've got to do now is paint it. I'm using a Wagner paint spray from the DIY range. It's simple to use and perfect for these large areas. They can be used with French Cheek's whole range of chalk paints. I'm holding the nozzle approximately four inches away from the surface and slowly moving from side to side. Now another advantage of using the spray paint technology is you can adjust the nozzle setting. I've been spraying from left to right, but now I want to spray up and down. So simply twist the nozzle on the front, tighten it up, and it's ready to spray. Now that's two beautiful solid coats of Palmer Violet done on the four sides of the summer house. The next stage is to paint the window frames and also cut in around the beading, around the front windows and door. So the next color I'm going to use is Old Blue Eyes from the Alfresco range. Frenchie's unique oval and flat brushes allow you to apply a nice thick layer of paint in tricky areas, creating a beautiful even finish. Before the paint dries, carefully remove the masking tape. Now, Laura and I are very sociable people. We often have people around in our garden having a few drinks and some food. So, if you're doing a garden makeover, what's the perfect item that you can build and paint? A bar, of course. So, we're building one ourselves. About this high it's gonna be. It's real simple to do. I've built the frame myself out of 3B2 tantalized timber, fixed it all together, and then I'm gonna clad it with this old pallet wood. Not only does it look great, it's going to serve a purpose. We've started fixing all of these down, so I'm going to lay these three in position like this, spacing them out just with a little small 
gap around them and then I'm going to get my screwdriver and simply screw them in to position. Hello my love. How are you getting on with the shelves on the summer house? Well, I've given it two coats now, so it's weatherproof. Brilliant. Well, I've come on well with the bar. I've did it one coat, a base coat of the cream dream. Lovely. Well, I've got a bit of an idea for this bar. Yep. What about we paint it in Greyhound because I love it. Yep. However, we start in the Greyhound because we want to be a bit creative and then we fade it all the way through to the cream dream. So it gives an ombre effect. OK, on every individual panel. Yep. Brilliant. OK, what we'll have to do then if we start off with the Greyhound, we'll mix maybe about 5% the cream green into it each time and paint each strip individually. Well, we better get cracking then. Come on then. An ombre effect is easy to create when painting each lap over a large area by just adding 5% of a light coloured paint into the same tin as a dark paint creates the fading effect. But always remember to wipe your brush clean before painting each slat. To top the bar off, I'm using a sheet of OSB board. Then using a paintbrush, I've applied a heavy layer of French Chic's Natural Odorless Browning Furniture Wax. I'll let this penetrate into the surface for about 15 minutes before firmly polishing it up using an old rag. I'm about to paint the stool in swanky pants. Cray's given it a quick sand down and dusted off and it's a good job he's drawn the short straw because he's got seven more to do. These old stools have been varnished, therefore I'm giving them a good sand down to allow the new paint to adhere. When painting stool legs, I prefer to use the quick and easier method, a small paint sprayer. It helps to get around the moulded detail. So once I completed the bar, I found myself having some offcuts of the old pallet wood. So I decided to build Sydney a little bed. All I've got to do now is get it sprayed up. So that's two coats of swanky pants on Sydney's bed to make it weatherproof. Laura's just going to finish off the top rim with a different colour. Now all French Chic's paints are certified toy safe, therefore I'm happy to paint up Sydney's bed. With having a huge range of fab colours to pick from, hand painted greyhound around the edges of the dog bed really is the icing on the cake, said Sydney the Bulldog. Well, that certainly was a fantastic two-day garden makeover. The weather held out for us. It certainly did. And you even managed to top up your tan, Craig. Yeah, I did a bit, didn't I? And uh, Sydney there, she's flat out with all the paint and she looks exhausted. Well, I hope we do get some birds nesting in that nice new box that we painted up. It looks good, doesn't it? Well, now the champagne's chilled, we could crack it open and enjoy a nice cool glass of it sitting on our wise old sage bench. I've got to be honest, that close-board fencing is one of my favourites. The blackjack paint really draws out the grain in it. Well, I think my favourite would have to be the summer house. The summer house, is it? Yeah. I actually thought it was going to be the bar. Not that I'm implying anything, of course, but, <laughs> you know, but the summer house does look great, doesn't it? I think it looks absolutely fabulous. I mean, it is really amazing. Just the lick of paint can really transform the total look and feel of it. And what do you think about the ombre effect that I so wonderfully suggested? Yeah, that ombre really works out well. And how well does it blend in with the stools as well? I think all the colours have been selected perfectly. Oh, swanky pants. Wow, oh, again, Craig, you've got to <laughs> stop this with your little jokes. But I love it. Swanky pants really work well on the bar stools. And the icing on the top of the cake when it comes to the bar, Laura, is the finished mm -hmm. surface because we've got old recycled timber there compressed into OSB boards, fixed down, and then it's buffed up with the brown and wax, and it looks fantastic. 
So we hope you've enjoyed our makeover and we've inspired you to paint. If you want any more information on the products, please visit the website, frenchypaint.co.uk.